Mr. Super National 2024, the first ever Filipino, first ever Asian to break not just top 10, but you know, to make it in the top three. So tonight was a big, big night for me. So, Brandon, it was such a spectacular staging of this year's edition of the pageant. So, how was the whole experience to be on that stage? Oh, uh, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry before the whole thing happened like, all the boys were together we were just all screaming but I felt the camaraderie I felt the connection and the unity that we built over the past two weeks and you know these guys are like my brothers and it was just it was a really really good moment yeah. so Brandon uh, what are your expectations for yourself uh, well now I get to relax I'm kind of relieved I'm just gonna give myself some grace and some relaxation because I really put everything on the line this past two weeks. Like, aside from the whole pageant thing and you know what they had us doing day in and day out, I was like editing and shooting YouTube vlogs for the fans and the audience, you know, just to give them a glimpse into our journey here for the super national experience, and then also just like networking, creating content, working out, doing the day-to-day -day tasks, running my businesses back home, like. I was doing everything I could, you know, to represent the country. So I'm just going to give myself a little break. But um, hopefully there's more opportunities because of this. For the people who doesn't really know you, Brandon, what would you like people to know about um, Well, I'm a fighter, you know. I am I am someone who, when I set my, my eyes on something and I have a vision, I do my best to execute it and I do the my best job at anything I do, whether it's being a server and waiting tables or being a pageant mm -hmm. or, or running a business, you know. So for everyone, anybody out there watching, just like, whatever you do, do the best you can at it and uh, take pride in your job, take pride in your role in society. Yeah. So uh, you're like, uh, the long wait is over. We've been waiting for you know someone like you to represent the Philippines in yeah. the biggest international male pageant. So I just want to know what brought you to pageantry. The real reason. Well, the real reason. I mean, last year, 2023, I had a dinner with uh, Mama J, and he asked me, "Hey, would you be interested in joining um, Mr. Philippines?" Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> Did you ever have an idea about pageantry? No. Before that. Not zero. Really? Literally. So last year, guys, uh -huh. I had no expectation of joining a pageant. I never even <laughs> thought of it. It never even crossed my head uh -huh. before 2023. Mm. You know? Because I, I didn't want to join anything that was speedo, yeah, yeah, yeah. oily body. Like, uh -huh. just, I wanted something that was more classy. So he said, hey, listen, mm. uh, Miss, Mr. Philippines is going to be classy. We're going to change, you know, the trajectory of everything. And I was like, okay, let's try. And now I'm here, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's, it's an insane ride, yeah. yeah. So, no regrets. No, this is one <laughs> of the best um, things I've done in my life. Ah, you know, one decision you made brought you to this... Yeah, and like, that's what I tell people, like, you never know. You know, a lot of us, we say, oh, I'm not that kind of person, I'm not this, I'm this. But you box yourself into this category and you don't allow yourself to try new things. So try new things because there's different mm. versions of who you are. You don't have just one version of yourself. You know? What did you discover about yourself while competing here in Poland? I discovered that I am I am just a top level competitor. Uh -huh. Like you put me in any industry mm. and I proved to myself that I'm capable of competing with the best I know, in, I know. in anything. You know, whether it's business, whether it's pageant whether it's sports I mean you name it I'm just a fighter and I think that really represents the Filipino community and our, our, uh, our culture and our country because you know we don't have most of us we don't have a lot right back, back in the Philippines but we fight for a better life and that's what I want to represent as resilience and that's that's what I learned about myself I'm very resilient okay let's go back to the moment to we're being announced in the top 10 new now yeah. Were you expecting? Yeah, I was. I expected to be in the top 10 for sure. Uh, no doubt in my mind. But when we went top 5, I was like, wow, oh, okay, let's go. Let's do this. 
this. We can do this. And I honestly, in my heart, I was even telling you know her yesterday that I I feel like I I'm gonna win this. Like I thought I was gonna be number one. You know, and um, I I had no doubt that I could have made it that this far. Okay, so congratulations, Brandon. And finally, message to everyone who supported you behind your victory. Yes, um, you know, I truly believe that we can go uh, fast by ourselves, but we can't go far without other people. So thank you to the Philippines for, you know, accepting me. I know there's other people out there who have been, been bashing me for the past two weeks about not being truly Filipino, but I'm truly Filipino at heart and uh, by blood. And, um, happy to be representing such a great country and culture. Thank you to uh, my family, my mother and my father, uh, my friends that have been watching me and supporting me and just messaged me. Thank you to you guys, you know, all the, the pageant community, the front runners in the pageant community who, who um, have been supporting me and putting me at the top of the list and just everyone that's been having my back. Thank you guys so much. There's more to come with me, you know, this, this might be the end of the super national journey, but you haven't seen everything yet with Brandon and Spirits. So what's next for you? Major business deals. Um, I have a sleep performance company coming out called Rest Day. Um, I have a bar and cafe opening up in Pueblo Shown next to Rockwell. It's in one to two months. We're opening up. And uh, me and Kirk Bondad are opening up our own fitness business together. Um, so there's many other businesses coming. It's, it's not the end of it. Yeah, so there's so much to come. Invite me there. Yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> Shempre, shempre. 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 Thank you, Brandon. And of course, we have to thank Brandon also for bringing the Mr. Supranational History for the Philippines. Yes. Thank yes. you for your good work. Of course, it's a hard job for you to do. Gosh, it was, but it was a uh, I've seen you, you know, doing everything on your own. Yes. Editing, yeah. Editing, shooting. Everything. Yeah. That's it. Then, no, it's okay. I it's Thank already. You Thank you so much, Salamat Brandon. Salamat. Yeah.